Hi everyone, Dave here from PowerInverters.com. Today we'll be talking about setting up a DC to AC power inverter in your truck. We'll talk about the different types of trucks, the different types of applications that you'll use with the DC to AC inverter, and we'll also talk about the installation within the truck. For To start, we're going to start with a large cabin semi truck, which you might be using as a sleeper, so you're going to want to get a decent size inverter, probably 3000 watts to 6000 watts to make sure that you'll have enough power to power several devices such as a heater, a television set, a maybe a microwave or even a coffee machine so this way you'll have as many options as possible. For most semi trucks like this they'll, ac they'll actually have a compartment beneath the uh, cabin that'll allow you to install the inverter right there within six feet of the batteries. You're going to want to keep the battery at to the inverter as short as possible to keep the optimal efficiency of the DC to AC power inverter. The further you go from the battery, you might have some efficiency losses. So if you have a 3000 watt inverter and you connect it 12 feet from the battery with the wrong cabling, you know, you might only able be able to use 1200 to 1500 watts. Now, if the cabling came with the inverter, you probably want to stick with that length and gauge if it's not possible. You want to go to as thick as gauge as possible. Perhaps consult the actual vendor of the power inverter to make sure that you have the right type of cabling. Now, if you're going to use a power inverter in a small cabin semi truck, you're going to want to get maybe a smaller type of inverter, maybe a 1500 watt to 3000 watt, because you're just going to connect several devices. You might still connect a microwave or a coffee machine, but you probably won't be using several devices at once, and you also don't want to take up too much space within the cabin if it doesn't already have a designated compartment to put the inverter. Now, if you're going to look to use an inverter with a pickup truck, perhaps you're using it on a construction site, you're going to want to gauge the size of the inverter based on what applications you're going to be using. If you're only using it for a couple of small power dr drills or perhaps a grinder, a uh, 1000 watt to 1500 watt inverter might work for you. If you're going to run a full construction site where you want to do use multi-tools at the same time, you might want to use up to a 6000 watt inverter to make sure that you have space to use such things as compressors, grinders, and saws all at the same time. Now as far as the actual cabling from the inverter to the battery, it's the same concept. You'll still want to keep it as close as possible, perhaps connecting it into the cabin under the ne underneath where the glove box is within the cabin of the pickup truck, and then running the cabling from the inverter to your electronics as far as you want. Remember the cabling from the output of the inverter to the actual electronics, that length, if you're going to use, let's say, an extension cord, doesn't really affect the efficiency of the inverter. It won't diminish the power that you can get out of the inverter. Uh, hopefully this um, helped you guys with a few questions about connecting a DC to AC power inverter in your truck. If you have more questions, drop us a line at info at powerinverters.com. We'll be happy to help. Uh, if this video was helpful, please share it or like it with the uh, links below. Thanks. Have a great day.